Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn how to install FFmpeg and also we are gonna make a short introduction to the FFmpeg. This is a very useful and powerful tool for us. Why I'm saying like that? Because we are dealing with computer vision applications and projects. Uh, in most of the cases we are dealing with videos. So in that case for most of the functionalities of this FFmpeg we are gonna need in the future. Uh, why I'm saying like that? For Because FFmpeg has many abilities which we are gonna see now. For example, it has ability to convert the codecs of videos and audios easily. And also it's able to um, export audio to any video or import audio from a video. So also it's able to, let's say you have two videos and you gonna, you are you want to merge those videos and FFmpeg can make it in seconds and splitting videos also for example you want to extract some of the part of a video and FFmpeg can do it easily and video audio quality manipulations for example in some of the part of your video you want to uh, decrease the noise of audio then FFmpeg gives you that also Creating videos from pictures, compressing audio or video again, setting aspect ratio of a video, you can change the resolution, adding text to videos such as subtitles and changing FPS even and zoom in zoom out settings you can make and also rotating even videos and many other functionalities FFmpeg gives us. And also in the future videos I am planning to make a tutorial series about this FFmpeg which is including these functionalities and I believe this will help us much on in the future for our projects because some of the cases we can easily use t this tool uh, so we can get the videos or we can get the, uh, get the uh, media what we need. Okay, first of all this video let's install FFmpeg quickly to our Ubuntu. The installation step is very easy just to the apt get and install ffmpeg will give us the result. This is very uh, easy installation or this will uh, install the latest stable release to you and and also it's gonna be finished quickly I believe and it's done after finish you can check the version while on this command and it's gonna give and some um, extra libraries is also installing because these are needed for it for ffmpeg and my version is 2817 and also we can change the versions but for now it's okay with this version and in the next videos we are gonna see how we can use ffmpeg for these functionalities and see you in the next videos